Hey, what's going on, guys? It's GT Sport Gaming here. Uh, I'm doing my first ever YouTube video here, guys, and uh, I wanted to start making some content here on YouTube. So uh, we're going to start with this build and drive video uh, today, which basically is going to show you what I do uh, behind the scenes before an American Truck Simulator stream to make one of my trucks for the stream. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let's get right into it. So basically today, we're gonna use one of my favorite trucks here. This is the um, John Ruta Peterbilt 389, guys, and this is a paid mod on Facebook from Produced by John Ruta. Uh, he has several different trucks, including a W900 uh, and a Freightliner Classic XL as well. Um, but this is one of my favorites from him. This is the, the updated, um, a 1.39 updated John Ruta 389 glider. So uh, let's get into it here. So this is in the um, um, truck uh, truck building section of the game here. Um, so there's two options here for um, this 389, uh, a 72-inch flat top or a 72-inch high roof. Uh, we're going to make one for the high roof today. Um, and uh, we're going to go with a... Um, we're going to go with a... Uh, a low long frame guys so you can see right there how the low drops that truck down right there and compared to a shorter one shorter frame uh, we have that extension there as well all right moving on to our engines here we have uh, a bunch of different engines here um, that I use uh, different mods on steam um, onwards modding engine pack as well on here so we're gonna go with a um, an onwards modding uh, 2,000 horsepower engine I do like to run the faster ones, so if you have seen my streams over on Facebook, you'll see uh, that I do kind of go fast <laughs> and uh, and use the high horsepower. So we're also going to use their 18-speed uh, transmission here uh, that goes with those high horsepower engines as well. Uh, you go, go into here, goes into your interior. You have two options on this truck for the interior. Uh, you have a high roof gray and a high roof brown. All right, so you can see what that changes all around the uh, cabin. We're going to go with the gray. All right, and now that brings us to the paint job. So the John Ruta comes with all these different custom skins here, uh, a bunch of different skins, uh, some cool stuff here they have. And what you can do is you can change um, all the different colors to these skins. So um, if you're looking at something like this, uh, and we can make it a little bit of metallic green going on there. Uh, we can switch this one here as well. So you kind of get that metallic uh, color to it. Um, but yeah, so there's all these different skins here. And I believe we're going to go with this one here. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. So I'm going to black out the truck on this here. And then we're going to keep that that bright green on the uh, stripes there. We're going to go a little brighter, I think, actually. Let's go a little brighter. All right, actually, yeah, right there. We're going to make this a new color here. Good. Nice and bright on that one. And then we're going to outline it with white. All right, so there you have that right there. So that's what the truck's going to look like uh, paint-wise. Um, but again, there's to uh, so many different all custom paint jobs where you can change the colors and change if it's metallic or just like a single color. Um paint job as well. So now you move over to accessories and this is where it gets crazy. So you see all these little nodes on here. So every one of these little nodes is an accessory depending on the truck. Uh, there could be a couple of them, a truck like this, there's a lot. So <clears throat> we can go down here, we can start with the bumper. Uh, you know, he has a bunch of these um, moose bumpers on there. But we're gonna go with the uh, custom flat. And then you have all these nodes and all these nodes mean right here is you can add some type of light accessory onto the bumper. So I usually do something on the bottom here. <clears throat> Um, and, uh, we have like these, uh, rounded ones and you can kind of test them out and see what they look like, but we're going to do one every, every other, every other light we're going to do one here. So you come through and you grab all these here. Now this is what I do, uh, guys, almost for every stream. Um, if you've seen my streams before you go through and you check out. Uh, all the trucks I run, I try to I try to run different trucks every time, different looking trucks every time. Uh, one of my things though is you know, and I've been doing it now because everyone kind of expects it, is having some some type of green on the truck. So, so you see that there, you got the lights on the bottom there. Beautiful, beautiful truck so far. Uh, so right here you got the um, 
We're going to go paint on that, and we're going to also go with the LED. And we're going to go change our, um, our lights on this. So he gives all these different light options here. We're going to go with the paint, with the painted version. Um, and then one of the version 3.0 updates here, you could go uh, colored. We're going to go with the um, Pride in Class Edition grill there. Uh, it also gives you option for that, but we'll take that off for now. You can also black out that, but we are going to keep it chrome. Over here, you can go with the uh, Pride in Class as badging as well. Uh, we're going to go with the um, bumper LED clear glass lamps on either side. We can put some flags on it if we wanted to, but for this one, we will not be. Um, front mirrors will hold off for now. Uh, all right, you can put lights on the top of the fenders there. Moving down, and then you can change the wheel well. So we got that one, that one. You can also go with the chromed out standard. Oops. And uh, we're going to go with custom two. Drop that there. We'll chrome that as well. Um, so perfect. Good, good. All right, we'll come over to our wheels here. And we have a bunch of different wheel accessories. We have the John Ruda has his own wheels as well. <clears throat> so we can see what kind of wheels we have here. So many options. And the other mods you put onto the game can also come with wheel options. There's just so many different uh you know different options to play with so we'll come over here that's what that one looks like you know just kind of kind of i go kind of go through test through here see what they look like chrome all right so we're going to go with the um chrome alcohol there all right and then we will do uh those right there on the nuts we'll put <clears throat> the hub cover on there and then we will have the Goodyear tire on there <clears throat> another thing about John Ruda's mods the tires are very uh, detailed as well all right we'll come over here to the uh, filter lamps we'll go down with the clear glass there and we will change these to a paint all right we have our mirrors got the old style there and then we'll hit the Let's see, I want to do that one. And we'll do we'll do this one there. All right, beautiful. Now you come up to the top here. He does have an option for a light bar, which is pretty cool. But we're going to go with the round on top. We're going to go with the round uh, there as well. And we're going to throw that beacon on the back there. All right, go over to the um, pipes. We're going to go with the uh, mitered edge. We'll cover that. We'll come down here now. A bunch of different options here um, for the lights. And going down to the stairs there as well. And then we can come over here. You can throw those on. And basically that's what I do. I kind of just see how everything looks and you know how how I'm feeling, you know, certain things there on the um on the truck <clears throat> all right painted all right we do have underglow on this one now i use the green underglow on this one yeah uh, you can use it so it only goes on when you have beacons or you can use it as it's always uh on when the lights go on so we'll have that there as well we're gonna go change the back bumper here to this chrome one which will give us these beautiful fenders awesome all right, and then here, we have a license plate. I think the closest one to where I live is a New York license plate, so we'll slap that on there. And you can uh, put chrome or uh, your paint color there, and then we'll work our way to our wheels. So we'll go to our wheels here, and I believe which ones we use in the front. We use just chrome. Okay, just chrome. Which are those there? We'll put the chrome nuts on there and the chrome uh, hub cover. <clears throat> and those are the good years there. Very detailed wheels uh, on this mod, which is pretty cool. All right. There we go. And then we'll go over to our 
perfect. I mean, you can even see on the fifth wheel. I'll show you once we get into the game. But look, you can see the grease lines and all the scrape marks on there. There's some some really detailed, detailed stuff for sure. And we do have a light bar here on the back, uh, and that'll be a reverse light bar, which is pretty cool. Uh, right, looking over at the door. No, we're good there. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like on the outside, guys. What do we think here? Hopefully, you guys like that. Pretty clean. All right, now we're gonna go on to the interior, guys. We're gonna go to the interior here. We'll start with the steering wheel. So a bunch of options here, different mods as well. Um, from Steam Workshop, um, but we'll go with the classic truck color SCI. Throw a um, chrome on there. We have the shifter, long, custom, standard. We'll do custom. Um, all right, we'll go to the floor, we'll keep the gray floor there. Um, we'll make that a GPS. And now, uh, what we can do here is we can change the color of our dash and we're going to go with paint so we'll keep that the black there now here we can go to the pride and class badging as well that's an uh another uh new addition i get rid of that you know just change all these different nodes antennas all these different radios you have now so you can change where the placement is we'll put ours there you can put a little uh air freshener there as well. I'm gonna use the GPS on the dash so we won't have to put one up on the window. Okay, that's all good there. As you look around the truck. All right. So we can do all this stuff here, exclusive black, pride and class edition. So it'll say right on the door, uh, right on the uh, headrest there. All right, so that's all good. All right, so now we can go into the Sissel Dash here, um, the Sissel pack that is on Steam Workshop, which adds accessories. So uh, I will add my Sunday Driver Award trophy, and you guys can see all these different accessories that you can throw on here. So, that, ooh, so there's my Sunday Driver Award. We'll throw our Starbucks mug in there as well. We'll go to our mugs here. Where is it? There it is, beautiful. And then I always have my kitty cat with us if I can, uh, Maggie. We'll have sleepy Maggie today. And Maggie, uh, if you guys have seen my streams, um, is almost in, this this virtual cat here is almost an exact replica of uh, a cat I do have uh, named Maggie. So we try to use her on our on our little, on our streams. All right, so we'll throw a little pizza down there. We'll put some pizza in as well. And then that I believe is what, all we're gonna add for the inside, guys. Yeah. That's good, good. We'll just go through, make sure we got what we wanted here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right. So we're going to hop back on the outside here. We'll show, we'll give you one more look here. So that's what it's going to look like uh, once we go into the game. And uh, so that's our John Ruta 389 glider, Peterbilt 389. So we're going to uh, confirm that and buy it. And then what you do is you hit purchase on the one you just worked on, and then you go pick a garage. Um, so here, home garage here in Salt Lake City, which is full, but so we'll go down to price and throw it in there. All right. So we will now hop into the game, and we'll see what this truck looks like. So we'll go here, truck manager. We will grab our 389 glider, and we will drive it. All right. So, yeah, that basically is the process behind, um, you know, when I go to um, before I start a stream, how I kind of go through making the truck and uh, what the process kind of looks like. Let me just calibrate this wheel real quick here. All right. Awesome. So there is that. So here is our truck here. All right. We can turn this engine on. We'll turn the lights on as well. We can even turn the beacon on there. There it is. Beautiful. All right. So there you have it there. Now we come on the inside here and we can uh, lower the windows. 
It's a nice loping 2,000 horsepower engine there. We have Maggie. Maggie sleep in there. We have our pizza. We have our Sunday driver award there. And we have our Starbucks mug and our green apple air freshener. All right. So that is uh, what that truck looks like here. Now all done. So we can uh, reverse it. You can see that reverse light comes on. All right. You see that green underglow on the truck there as well, guys. All right. Beautiful. All right. Let's test it out here. Awesome. So we'll just swing back around to our garage. All right. And there we go. We'll pull that parking brake there. And we'll turn off our engine. And uh, and there you have it, guys. There is um, the build and drive on the John Ruta Peterbilt 389 glider, which you can get from uh, produced by John Ruta on Facebook, guys. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video, our first ever Facebook video uh, with this build and drive. Uh, if you do enjoy the video, do me a favor, hit that up subscribe button. I do appreciate that. We're going to do some more videos moving forward. Um, growing our YouTube channel and uh, you know from our Facebook gaming channel uh, as well so uh, make sure you check out GT Sport Gaming guys and thank you guys so much for uh, watching that video I hope you enjoyed it and have a have a great rest of your day thank you